One nonprofit chose Georgia to test a new pilot program for transforming unused crop acreage into pine forests. In tonight's On the Farm, we examine why the American Forest Foundation wants to get loblolly pine trees planted in Georgia and the ideal candidates for the program. The American Forest Foundation announced it's piloting a new pine tree planting program in Georgia. Among many things, um, FF is working to develop new ways to connect our landowners to the carbon market. And one of those ways we are doing that is with our new program, Field to Forest. Um, and so with this program, we are working with Georgia landowners, specifically private landowners, and assisting them with afforestation. So essentially, we are working to assist these landowners in transitioning marginal um, row crop and pasture land to loblolly pine forest. Tykedra Young with the AFF says it's a great option for private landowners who plan to keep their properties for the long term. It's a 30-year commitment, and participants must meet enrollment requirements. When I think about this program, I specifically think about landowners who are looking to retire or just looking to transition out of farming. Um, you get paid for it, so that's always a bonus. Um, $30 per acre, annual payment. Just in general, our eligibility criteria is having a minimum acreage of, of 40, so 40 minimum acres. Land has not been forested in 10 years, and it needs to be privately owned land in the state of Georgia. Young says even landowners without a full 40 acres may still qualify if the AFF is able to help them bundle or cluster acres. When you have a minimum acreage for a program, it does exclude a particular community, usually underserved or minority landowners. And we do want to make sure that we are not excluding a particular group by having a minimum acreage. So this is a way to make sure our program is still inclusive in some way. Though enrollment in the program does come with some strict guidelines, it does not prohibit landowners from other uses such as hunting. It doesn't restrict the use of a hunting lease by being enrolled in this program. So it is a program that still allows you to um, have other uses for your land. It doesn't restrict you to just be you know, doing just this. The application window for the program has opened now and ends September 30th. If you'd like to find out more info, we have it posted on WGXA.TV.